for the culture, this is more than just a phase Feeling like tsunami, see my war slip, what a waste It's your boy Tsunami Timo. Tsunami Timo. What's poppin' Tsunami Gang? It's your boy Tsunami Timo and I'm back at it again. Today, we're gonna be talking about a very crucial and important topic. In today's video, I wanna talk to you guys about with the grain and against the grain haircuts. Um, this is a very important topic, okay? Because you can get confused if you watch other YouTubers and they tell you not to do it. Or um, you watch some YouTubers and they'll tell you to do it. Now, my experience has been, as far as I know, cutting my own hair. From way back when I used to cut my own hair, I used to go against the grain. Simple fact is that when you cut your hair against the grain, all the hair that you're cutting will come off. So it gives you a more even haircut. If you go with the grain, you're not going to cut all the hair off. So some hair may be laying down, some hair may be standing up, so when you're cutting, it's going to be an uneven cut. Now, for all my beginners that are waivers, I don't recommend you go against the grain. Now, if you've been wolfing and you're struggling, I highly recommend that you go against the grain. The reason for that is, a lot of you guys may have seen. So, you see me. I had a legitimate six rolls uh, a while back. Now, I've been watching, trying to support other waivers, uh, no matter what kind of hair texture they have, medium, coarse, straight. And um, when you start watching other waivers, you get your facts mixed up. So me listening to other waivers messed up my whole flow of how I was working on my pattern. So what I did for like the last year, maybe one or two years, I've been getting with the grain haircuts. Now, I've been having flyaways. I know you guys have the same issue. You take your do-rag out, you go outside, especially when you're wolfing, your hair will stand up, especially when it's long. So, I had the same issue. And I'm looking at myself, I'm like, why did I not have the same issue in the past? Especially when I'm brushing the same amount. What I did was experiment. So, waving is all about trial and error. Experiment, that's exactly what I'm going to do. To make sure you guys don't have to do it. I'm going to do it for you. So I did tell you guys I was going to wolf no longer than six weeks from now on. Now I did get a cut three weeks ago now. And this was supposed to be my first week of wolfing. But when I looked at my hair after having gotten cut um, three with the grain. My hair wasn't properly combed out when I got the cut. So let's say I just took the do-rag off. Some of it is laid down compressed. Some of it is standing up. So, when he combs it, the barber for instance, when he combs my hair, some of it will lift up, some of it will still be down. After I got the three with the grain, I left, it was fine. But then his hair started standing up on certain parts of my head. Plus, when you combed it backwards, it was increasing in length. I told you guys before, when you have waves, you need a medium, you need a medium hard, you need a soft, medium soft, so on and so forth. Now, the reason for that is because your hair gets longer. What can mess up the process is actually getting cuts with the grain. Because as you progress and you continue wolfing and you continue cutting with the grain, the length of your hair is going to increase. Not the case if you cut against the grain. Now, a lot of people will tell you, you will lose progress, let's say, if you cut against the grain. That is not the case, especially if you're an experienced waiver. Not if you're just starting off. I do not recommend that. But if you trust the process and the work you've put in and uh, how your waves are looking and you do not think that you may lose progress, I highly recommend you go ahead and get against the grain cut. Now what I did way back when, when I had like six rows, I cut six against the grain. This time around, I ain't going to take that chance. Because at the time when I did it, the only reason I did it is because I had forks. And um, my pattern wasn't deep, and I cut a lot of progress off. This time around, I was like, I'm not going to do that. So, I chose this. It's a seven uh, clipper guard, right? This is perfect. Six was a little bit too low, seven is perfect. So with that being said, what I did was, so I kept brushing my hair, and I was planning 
on going along with what I told you guys, which I'm going to do now. But um, it was just too much, especially when you're brushing and then nothing's laying down. It's uneven. Some's laying down. Some is not. So I was like, forget this. I have to do this. So I went up, cut my hair seven against the grain, and the results are amazing. Now, I still don't have six rolls yet, but I will soon again. It was amazing. So when you cut with the grain, you gliding over the hair. You're not going to get all of it. When you cut this way, whatever this guard is, is what length your hair will be afterwards. So there's no need to worry about uneven areas. Everything will be this length. Now, a lot of waves will tell you you have to reach your curling. Especially with us, we straight hair waivers, right? And I think to myself, my hair has never been curly like that to begin with. So, what am I striving to achieve? Even when I had my hair long, after the cut and I combed it back, there was literally no curls. So, I'm like, well, I have waves and I don't really have curls. So, what were they saying? Well, I cut some down, like I said, seven against the grain. If you're a corset waver, I'm pretty sure nothing will come off your head if you do that. But if you want to even cut, you want to cut something down, seven against the grain is perfect. My hair looks amazing. There's no flyaways. My hairline's not shifting. And everything's laid down perfectly. So do I recommend against the grain haircuts? Definitely. Why? Because it's a better cut than with the grain. Now if you have coarse hair, with the grain, of course, that's your preferred choice. You can go ahead and do that. But with us, I'm going to tell you, against the grain for experienced waivers is the way to go. If this is your first wolf, don't go against the grain. Second wolf, don't go against the grain. But if it's like your third or fourth, and you've been doing it for a while, I highly recommend it to you. Even though my hair is short and there's no curl length reached, I still have waves. So, do I recommend against the grain haircuts? Definitely. Because it gives you a more even cut. Does it cut off your waves? No, it does not. You need to know that you can follow certain people's advice and there's other people that do not know, okay? So a lot of straight hair waves will tell you, only cut with the grain. You know what it is? Because they looked at my video, I said it, so they will repeat what I said. Now, watch and see how many people will tell you against the grain haircuts are beneficial after this video. So, that's going to be it for this video. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm watching you. Also, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Leave a comment and drop a like for your boy. It's your boy, Tsunami Timo. And I'm out. So, 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 so.